Hello. Welcome to those of you that are out there viewing us. And uh, we want to welcome you especially to this series on testimonies of gratitude and praise to God. I am Pastor Lionel Pottinger, the Ministerial Director of New Jersey Conference. And we have with us today in the studio Pastor Jean Mathiel Etienne, who is going to share a testimony of gratitude and praise to God. Pastor Etienne, good day. It's nice to have you with us here today in our studio. Uh, good morning, Elder Pottinger. It is a pleasure for me to be here with you. I am very happy to have you here, and uh, I know that your testimony will be a blessing to those around about us. When did you realize that you had the a positive uh, situation in corona, with coronavirus? When did you begin to feel sick? Well, I think I, I, I remember that on Sunday, March 5th, on Sunday, April 5th, uh, on Sunday, March 5th, I was, uh, no, on Sunday, on Sunday, the, the April 5th, uh, I was, uh, I felt uh, a little headache, and uh, usually I, I walk, I do my exercise, and I was not comfortable that day, so I have a body ache, and at that time, I thought that I, I got the virus. When you thought you had the virus, were you scared? Yes, I was very scared because at that time, uh, I already lost one church member from the COVID, and I had uh, close contact with that person, so I was very, very, very scared. Under those circumstances, what were your expectations? What were you thinking was going to happen? Well, I could not really explain my expectation, uh, but my feeling, my feeling uh, was uh, if I lost a member from the COVID and I had close contact with that member and I heard all of the people every day, I keep uh, hearing the people who die from the COVID. So I said, I think about, thought about two things. Uh, I thought, God might protect me. I might be survive. Also, I might be die like the other people. So I could not really explain my expectation because I was very scared. Did you, do you have any idea of where you got the sickness from? Well, I am not quite sure because my last church service was on first weekend of March. So beyond that, uh, I did not go anywhere. Uh, my wife told me, do not go to the visitation, do not go to anywhere. So I obeyed. So I thought I was safe. But as you know, my wife is, uh, is an essential uh, worker. Uh, she's a nurse at, at the Trenton State Prison. And uh, she had to go to work every day. So I believe that she, she, I got it from her. Uh, even though she did not have the, the, the symptom I had uh, on Sunday, uh, April 5th, but I believe that I got it from her. So did your wife ever uh, have the COVID-19? Uh, yes, all of us uh, were infected. Uh, when I was bad, the week of uh, uh, April 5th, from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, I was very, very ill. And we, my wife called out from her work on Wednesday, on Tuesday, because I was very bad. And my daughter scheduled a test for us on, on, on Thursday, the 9th, uh, April 9th. So at that time, both of us, were positive. Okay, so more or less, how long were you very sick? Uh, I was, I was sick. I, 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 I got worse. 
I got worse. I, when I'm telling you I got worse, I got worse after having the test. Uh, the, after Thursday, I had the test on Thursday, the April 9. And the following weekend there, the weekend of the 9, I was very ill. So I spent, I spent a good two weeks, two full weeks in bad shape. And I had two nights and two days. I did not know if I would make it. Just well, to tell you how bad I was. Well, we thank the Lord that you made it. And you are yes, able to indeed. share your testimony today. Yes, Were indeed. you hospitalized? Uh, no, I was not hospitalized. Uh, the reason I was not hospitalized because I did not have any breathing uh, problem. But those two days and two nights, I told you, I was very, very, very sick. I, I was in bad shape. I cried like a baby. And it, at the time, I, tell, I told my wife, uh, that's it. I told my wife, that's it. I'm ready. God can do whatever you want with me. And when I was crying, I told my wife, bring me to the hospital. Call the ambulance. And my wife said, no, I, I'm not going to call the ambulance because you have no breathing problem. And that night, I'm telling you, God is good. God is good because I was bad. Praise the Lord. When I realized, when I was informed of your sickness, I sent you uh, texts and I also sent you messages, but I didn't get any answer. I guess those were the days you were so down. Yes, yes, I'm sure. Praise the Lord that you have been better. Now, let me ask you another question. Have you been tested negative after you have been to coronavirus? Yes, uh, unfortunately, I have to say that to the public. Uh, the, the 14 days the CDC uh, uh, requires for the COVID patient, when after the 14 days, so it seems like after the 14 days, you are allowed to go out, to, to mingle with people. This is bad because after the 14 days, you still have the virus. Because listen to that. Uh, after the 14 days, uh, isolation, so we wait for another five days. So it was on the 19th days. My wife and I, we went to do the test again. Guess what? Both of us remain positive after 19 days. But I thank God uh, we spent a whole month of April, May, at the end of May, so my wife and I, we went again to take the test, and I thank God both of us are negative. So about how much time in, uh, in, in, in days or weeks after you felt better that you finally was tested negative? I would say a good uh, month and a half or close to two months when we took the test because we took the test in June. You can see that it's almost two months. Yes. At that time, we, both, we are both negative. Since coronavirus is still prevalent around, how do you feel? What, what would, would you tell us in relation to what we should be doing or not doing as a coronavirus survivor? Well, uh, as you can see, anywhere I go, I wear my mask. So I'm still, I'm still scared about the virus because the virus is still active. It's not going anywhere yet. So uh, I am taking my precaution, uh, still washing my hand, sanitize my hand all the time. Uh, anywhere I go to the public, uh, I wear my mask. Even if I'm walking, walking, taking my exercise, if I'm coming close to a person, I always have my mask in my pocket. When I see somebody coming close to me, I pull my mask and I wear it. Uh, unfortunately, uh, people today, it seems like they don't take the virus uh, seriously. Uh, they don't wear masks. And so people, some people think the mask is uncomfortable. So uh, somebody told me that. 
When they saw me walking with the mask, they said, well, I cannot do it. I, I feel uncomfortable. I said, well, you got to, to used to it. So my advice to people as a survivor, uh, you have to keep your social distancing. There is no joke on that. Even people laugh at you, that's OK. But you got to take care of yourself. You got to take care of your, 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 your body. So uh, my advice is to, uh, to tell people to wear masks, to keep their social distancing, to keep washing their hands, and to take the virus uh, as serious as it is. I appreciate that, Council, because you as a COVID-19 survivor, the information is now you have tested negative, you should have your immune system to protect you, and you're still wearing the mask to make sure nobody gets the sickness. Yes, yes, indeed. So we got to protect everyone around us, everyone. Uh, uh, just to tell you this, uh, last weekend, I was in Georgia for my granddaughter's daughter, presentation. And you know, young people, the presentation took place in the home. The pastor, the pastor came, and I have a part to play. I have to, to, to give the blessing uh, to my grand, grandchild. So a lot of people that come, family members, no mask. And I bought masks for everyone. I said, everyone needs to wear a mask. Some people, some young people, they look at me like crazy. But I said, I'm sorry. If you are not going to wear the mask, I am not going to stay. This is as serious as it is. And I told people, if you, if, you don't, if you don't get hit with the virus and you don't know, you don't have a family member who, hit, who got with, hit with the virus, you would never, ever know what the virus is about. It's not a joke. It's a serious thing. Thank you. You have given us some good counsel, but I still want to know if you have anything more that you would like to say to us and, to, and that you say to your church members in regards to this pandemic? Well, in addition uh, to what I told you, my advice to my church members, uh, my advice to the young people is to take the virus as serious as it is, to wear masks, wash your hand, and keep your distance, your social distancing. Because some people believe that because they are Christian, because they are praying God, because they believe in God, God will protect them. That's a false uh, reasoning. That's a false uh, philosophy, a false understanding. Because even the Bible says in uh, 3 John chapter, chapter 1, uh, verse 2, uh, 3, 3 John, uh, verse 2, it says, My beloved... I hope that you prosper in all way and to be in good health. So the same way that prosper your soul. So God wants us to be in good health. Even Ellen G. White, the servant of God, she said, if you neglect to protect yourself, if you ne neglect to uh, take care of good, take care of uh, your, your health, God is not going to uh, refrain, refrain you or avoid the sickness. So you got to take care of yourself. Thank you, Pastor. Yes. That is very good counsel. We need to realize the difference between faith and presumption. Yes. God gave us wisdom, and mm -hmm. we need to apply that wisdom in our daily lives. And we should not expect God to be doing for us what he has enabled us to do for ourselves. Yes. Indeed. I praise the Lord with you, and I thank the Lord for taking you through this experience and bringing you through successfully. May God continue to bless you in your ministry. And for those of you that are listening out there, wherever you are, we want to encourage you to take this pandemic situation with coronavirus seriously and to make sure you do everything possible to keep your health and the health of those around about you. God bless you and have a wonderful day.